Hello, hello, Aquarius, and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of March 24th through March 30th, or whenever you come across this message, it is meant for you. I've already shuffled your cards, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this week's theme. Now, you know it's the lunar eclipse in uh, Libra that's going to be happening on the 25th that's happening in your ninth house. So ninth house, that's going to be what all about the uh, matters related to higher education, travel, philosophy, spiritual beliefs. So I do feel like there's this time here that you're entering about re-examining your, your belief patterns for sure. That has come through. And as I say that, the first card that I'm looking at is number 12, which in Major Arcana is the Hanged Man energy, like literally asking you to reevaluate a perspective. But this reads Dragon's Horde, protecting the future. 12 reduces to 3, Empress Energy, which is huge right now, obviously, right? And this is eclipse season. Um, this is an opportunity to create and get involved in community. I'm having a strong sense of that, very Aquarius energy, of course. Um, there is this feeling of taking on a new path or a new challenge where you are going to be either the student or teaching. Both could be true. And there's something here about feeling the responsibility of passing along a message or teaching, right? There's something here tied into the spirituality. It's all ninth house, clearly. <laughs> so this reads, white witch, be the light, right? And I feel like this has come up for you before, Aquarius. So you might, you know, there's something here about you being the, um, like a leader, perhaps, in the, in in the community even. And this could as well be that you are um, working in community, spreading the good message, or somebody's getting on your nerves, which is also very possible in this eclipse season. So maybe take the, take the, uh, choose love. That's what I guess the point of where is choose love, especially if somebody, what is this? Listen, remember how I said community? So now I'm gonna just focus back on that because this literally reads the founder right? Foundations and community. You may be thinking about starting a community or starting a, um, you know, it could even be like a book club, something like that, wherever you're getting people together to spread a word of joy, hope, right? Foundation, togetherness. So that's great, Aquarius. Comment below and let me know if this resonates with you because that's, you know, that's good. Or oh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and pull nine cards. I'll clarify those cards as well. I've got five of wands. You could have experienced recent bickering in the workplace or in community with your friends, something close to that. We've got the Knight of Wands wanting to experience an adventure, move forward. Something taking off quickly is how I'm feeling it. Eclipses bring about the impossible, right? And we have a ton of advancements, things happening, things shifting. So very well, whatever you've been wanting to do. This... This could also be that you had creative differences with someone as well. I'm picking that up. You might be starting something or wanting to launch and you have a creative difference with someone. Seven of Pentacles. Maybe there's this energy of like, I've worked hard on this. Is this ever going to take off the ground? Is this business partnership going to work? Should I pursue this course of study? Very cerebral energy as well. Hmm. King of Pentacles. Okay, so that's good. So you're going from the thought to the thing. King of Pentacles. I mean, this could be technically an earth sign, right? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But more likely, it's if this isn't a person, because this could be a manager or someone you work with, this could very well be your vision. What you are aspiring to do your ideas, what you're expecting to grow from the seven of pentacles. The other thing I'm picking up is what you, the seeds you planted, right? Whatever you were dealing with in October of 23, October, November, right around that, I think it was a new moon in Scorpio. I think it was like November 11th or November 10th. Regardless, it was the 13th. Um, that, that energy back then, whatever you were working on, committing to, evaluating, a sudden shift happens in that potent. <clears throat> wow. Okay. So I say that and I speak into existence as I see the following cards. I see the five of wands. Then we've got the 10 of swords. Everything's fine, but it's not, you know, um, this is really the ending of something. And so, as I was saying, 
whatever it was that you started back in October of last year is up for re-evaluation re again. Mercury grows into retrograde right, right in the middle of all these eclipses on April 1st. Right? It's like a cosmic joke, right? So there might be a chance to really review it, but we have the chariot card showing up. So you're being asked to take maybe the middle ground, right? Maybe not get too emotional about whatever's happening here. Although, I mean, you know, this isn't mastermind energy. This is like bickering. And I, I do feel like it's a creative difference that you're going to be up against this week as well. And it might be the, what's the word I'm looking for? The straw, the catalyst, two of wands for you to pursue something else or at least consider it. Yeah, so you're going to consider something else. The full card shows up and that coming in with the Ten of Swords is definitely eclipse season energy, right? It's about you're at a crossroads and you have to make a decision and then the catalyst happens. And what's going to happen next? No matter how badly we want to know, chances are we're not going to know until right around the solar eclipse in Aries. Right after that energy passes, which is April 8th, is when things will become more clearly. It's it's almost like you're in murky water and you can feel, right, that there's, you know, you're going to get your oxygen back, but you, when, right? It's, it's That was maybe not the best example. The point is you can't always, actually you can't, you can't know what's going to happen during eclipse season. Queen of Cups, you may be dealing with a water sign, but then I also have the King of Pentacles here. This could be about a relationship that you're having where there was a creative difference or just bickering in general this week. Um, the full card shows up, as I was saying, about the end of something. The ending of something allows for the energy to be available for something new. Ten of Pentacles. So this idea, whatever it was, what, whatever business thing, whatever you're teaching, planning, writing, creating, because we go from the King of Pentacles, I'm sorry, we go from the Seven of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. And this is wish fulfillment. And it's because you lean into it, right? You lean into your faith. Literally, the Chariot card is what's before the Fool card. So it's, it's divinely meant for you. And it's going to happen quickly at this point. Now that we are in it, this week, it's going to happen very quickly after that. Three of Wands, Three of Wands. You are definitely, it's like the vision was there, like the Ace of Wands, the desire, the, the, the drive. You want to go on an adventure, right? Two of Wands, you know, this might feel familiar. You might have done something like this in the past, but maybe you didn't enjoy, you didn't have, I don't know, I guess maybe in that phase of life, it was go, 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 and you didn't enjoy the journey. And now you're like, you know, if I could do it all over again, that's this three of wands. I'm going to do it like this. And in the traditional right away, both um, stabs are planted. And the third one, I, I believe, is also planted, right? And the going forward and, you know, going through that portal of freedom almost, portal of change is how it's coming through. Yeah, there's something about you revising maybe a, like a project, a book, a class. I don't know. I also feel like there's this energy of like leveling up because you get to revisit something, you know, maybe let's just say, for example, you're um, an artist and you might revisit a series of paintings that you've done. And this time you want to do them in a different, um, I don't know what the right word is, like a different format, a different genre. I, I'm not sure what the words are. This is a great time to do it. If you've published books in the past and you want to go back and redo them and judge them up because now you have new information, this is a great time to do that. So it's almost like all of that's happening. Six of wands at the bottom of the deck, that, that's victory, right? So, and it's funny because let's take it because that's going to go ahead and clarify the five of wands. So first of all, whoever's coming for you isn't going to be very successful. You're successful. Your vision is the one that you need to pursue. And the full card shows up. I couldn't make this up. You've got the full card twice for you. And then when I did Lib Libra's reading earlier, <clears throat> I also got the full card, the world card, the 10 uh, or um, the wheel of fortune. So if you have Libra in your chart, or if you're dealing with a Libra, I would look at that. But the full card is here with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands 
one of the fastest knights in the deck, right? This one and the um, ace or the knight of knight of swords. Hi, Aquarius. Excuse me while I take a breath. <laughs> I tell you, they come through and it's like da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, <laughs> and it doesn't. <laughs> As I say that, and I look up and I recognize I'm wearing black and white stripes. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Let me focus. The, I've lost it. The Fool card with the Knight of Wands. I feel like this is an adventure that you're going on. You're taking a leap of faith. And I just want to also tell you that I've got the seven, I've got the Ten of Pentacles again for you. And this is clarifying and again, letting us know that yes, everything you've ever wanted and then some. This is going to go better than you had expected. And I feel strongly that whatever it is that you're building, like think bigger, think more expansion, right? Um, this is going to go well. I feel like this is going to go really, really well for you. So King of Pentacles, let's go ahead and clarify this. The, the, I just keep hearing like this is the best time possible for you to resuscitate old work, right? And re-enliven it, whatever that looks like for you, right? If you've been working on a project, anything, just like, okay, so let's take these. One, two, three. Wow, they gave me exactly the cards I needed. So they have spoken. There is some exhaustion here and concern. Again, we go back to this. This is pretty much a very similar message here. Like, is this ever going to work out? Yes, it does. But I'm exhausted. Keep going. That's the energy I'm getting. Like, keep going because you have no idea how, um, how meaningful the work that you're about to do is. And also, I just want to say this, if you're thinking about changing up like your course of study that keeps coming through, like, it, I guess it's because of where the energy is in your ninth house, but <clears throat> whatever you're reevaluating and whatever you're creating it does really, really well. It's, you might, oh, okay. And then we've got the, the two of cups being clarified by the, Ten of Swords. Some of you may have recently ended a relationship, which is part of the situation here. But it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, right? You could you could be very stable in your romantic relationship, but this soulmate energy could be a best friend, and it could be this person that you were bickering with. It could be like soulmates can show up in a matter of ways. Soulmates can be even business partner. It, Generally, it's someone who has energy that meets you where you are and evolves with you and supports you and vice versa. It's very balanced. And in this case, it feels like there was an upset there. Something has you in the energy of saying, you know what, this, this group, this community, these people, this study, this isn't for me. And if I could, we're back to if I could do it all over again, I would do it like this. And then it hits you. I am going to do it all over again. And I'm doing it my way. And that is, you know, going to work out. So if this is about a romantic relationship, I do feel like you've got a different energy coming your way because we have the chariot card with the uh, queen of cups. So you could be dealing with the cancer Pisces Scorpio, or it could just be very well that you've got a more maybe mature person, um, a feminine, someone in their feminine, a nurturer. This could be... Um, a parent or someone that mentors you that is helping you through this this time right and this this partnership or this nurturing situation is really going to be the catalyst that allows you to get out of your way um it's like you 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 and you encounter a supporting energy this week and i you know it could it could show up in a in a, in a hundred different ways to be honest with you aquarius but it's almost like you know, and it could be an apology from someone who has wronged you or the perception of being wronged um, because the Queen of Cups is facing the Two of Cups as almost to say, you know, wow, there's regret here because I'm going to show you how this goes. When I'm looking at the cards on top, then we have this like exhaustion period with the soulmate energy and potentially like looking back with like revisiting the idea and I don't see so much that it's revisiting so that you can be with the person again. I mean, you could, although I see a bunch of new beginnings for you. Um, 
this is again that eclipse thing that we just won't really know exactly how this will pan out until after the solar eclipse in Aries on the 8th. But there is contemplation definitely about severing a relationship because then we've got the full card starting something over, but there's fear here in doing it. And once you actually start over, it's like you do <clears throat> become in right relationship with the soulmate energy. You build something very beneficial. Uh, you create, this is potentially a partnership again that... Um, the Ten of Pentacles could be a business partnership because that's what I'm picking up as much as the Two of Cups and all these things come across as relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 whatever, you know, whoever, whatever. That's not how I'm feeling it. This is this is coming through like creative differences. This is coming through as something in a work environment, a community environment. And it's almost coming through like you thought you could really manage a um, a vision with the people that have been with you for a while. And then it's almost like there's a misalignment of energies. And so then it's like, do I start over? Do I take a different route with my studies? Do I, you know, so with the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress, it's, it's, it's all systems go because then we've got the Page of Pentacles here again with the Three of Wands. So you're very focused on your vision. You're very focused on your, again, money. Um, so I want to clarify a couple of things here. Tell me more. Anything else about Aquarius, please? Anything else? Why the, why the Two of Cups? And the Ten of Swords. Why the Two of Cups and the Ten of Swords, please? I just saw the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And I'm hearing because there's... You saw me shuffle that twice. And still at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. So why the Ten of Swords on what the perception was with that Two of Cups is because there's something completely different happening for you. So Aquarius, this is how I'm going to leave it. Whether it be in business, friend, what have you... This energy, it was upset because you would not have pursued this new course of study or this passion project or, you know, this thing that you've been thinking about since last year if you would have stayed in this relationship or this partnership. It's like you need to um, disentangle to create your vision because your vision's that important. So I'm not sure what you guys are working on, but whatever it is, it's important for you. It's important. This is a universe. So you need to create the world you want to see. Shadow work for this week, Aquarius. I will tell you in a second. This reads 31, Atonement. Wow. So again, with all the swords in the back, feeling perhaps misunderstood is how this is coming through. There's some sort of guilt or shame here associated, like a karmic, a karmic release is how this is coming through, which makes sense because of the eclipse and eclipses are all about being at a crossroads. So there is this feeling perhaps because this community card came through protecting the future. There's this feeling of the world of the weight is on my back and knowledge is power and power is responsibility. So maybe you've been carrying a lot of heaviness with this idea of protecting the future. It could be your family, the community, whatever it is that's important to you is up for reevaluation because quite frankly, continuing to give of yourself is going to affect you in a way that will place you in a position to be unavailable for anyone else. That's how it's coming through. You're going to burn yourself out if you don't take pause and understand that it's not your job to do all of these things in this past situation, this past energy. So I feel like there's a lot going on, Aquarius, for you. Lots of new energy coming through, new friendships. Um, new. I just keep seeing like new projects, like you getting creative and, and making something that is around for a while, like well past you. So we've got one, establishing emotional boundaries which might be exactly what you need to make up for this, right? The balance of feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders is by setting emotional boundaries with others and with yourself as well, right? Um, 
I feel very strongly that you're going to be extremely successful once you lean into this thing that's been gnawing at you since last year, at the end of last year. It's almost like you had some downtime to reflect or something. That's what I'm getting. Like the end of last year was slower for you and you were in your head and you're like, you know what? I would have done this, 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 this and that. And then all of a sudden here we are and the energy shows up and you're like, wow, I, I, I think I'm going to do all of these things. So you can't be everything to everyone all the time, Aquarius. Know that and know that you are really stepping into something that's going to be Ten of Pentacles all day, every day. So I'm very excited for you and thanks for hanging out. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe and leave a comment below. I respond to each one of them myself. Remember that we're all just stars from the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information that we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. And until next time, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Have a great week ahead, Aquarius. See you next time.